the antipathy between the Chamber of Commerce and the Democratic Party is reliable enough to feel almost like death and taxes, but lately it has been intensifying and growing. Juliana Goldman is at the White House with more. Juliana? Well, there's also a newcomer that's beginning to emerge, Eric, in this escalating feud between the White House Democrats and the Chamber of Commerce. And we're talking about Chamber Watch. It's a watchdog group that was formed over the last few months. And last night, this union-backed group, they filed an amended complaint to the IRS alleging the Chamber of Commerce of tax evasion and money laundering, specifically one. They're saying that the Chamber intentionally violated tax law by funneling charitable donations to finance political activities and also so they're zoning in on Chamber of Commerce President Tom Donahue's compensation. They're saying that, that it may rise to the status of a tax violation because he's not reporting perks like the use of a private jet, a car, and a driver. What the Chamber has done is overstepped its bounds and violated IRS regulations that have a firm uh, demarcation between what non not-for-profits are doing, what charitable organizations are doing, and what advocacy groups are doing. Now, Tita Freeman, she's a spokesperson for the Chamber of Commerce. She said in response to this new amended complaint, quote, this is yet another desperate attempt to distract the Chamber of Commerce from its aggressive efforts to support job creation and economic growth. But, you know, Eric, there's a bit of David and Goliath situation going on here. Chamber Watch is trying to blunt the influence that the Chamber of Commerce has had in uh, elections, a growing influence over the past few years. They're operating with a budget, though, of under a million dollars and compare that to what the chamber has been spending, vowing to spend $75 million in this election cycle. That's double what they spent in 2008, which was double what they then spent in 2006. Juliana, with only a million dollars to spend, this group Chamber Watch had better be specific with what they are trying to accomplish. What exactly is that? Well, the goal really is to blunt the influence. And so what you see now is the chamber running ads right now in very high profile races across the country. But they're kind of hoping that they will be able to put pressure on the member companies to either threaten to walk off, uh, to, to quit the Chamber of Commerce or to quit the board, which will then pressure the chamber to back off of its own political activities. And they say that there's a precedent to this because when you look at the climate change debate over the last year with the chamber, strong opposition to it. You saw companies like Exelon, PG&E, uh, an Apple quitting the chamber, Nike quit the chamber board. You know, one Republican lobbyist, though, said the situation is kind of different. That was over specific policy. This is over politics, but the chamber is not, the chamber watch is not backing down from this one.